Our next speaker told me that a year ago she wouldn't have even dreamt of, en of even entering a speech contest, let alone getting to the final. She said that the Speak Out Challenge has taught her to stop doubting herself and start believing in herself. <laughs> she qualified back in December. Her motto is smile. Because if you smile at everybody, they'll either smile back or you confuse the hell out of them. <laughs> With a speech entitled World Poverty, representing Hillingdon, please. You got it half right, Helen Chamberlain. Today, 25,000 children are going to die from starvation. It happened yesterday, and it will happen again tomorrow. And it will happen every single day until we do something to stop it. I want you to picture a little boy standing alone, naked, with the hot sun beating down on his back. He tries to smile, but why? His dad died from AIDS when he was just five years old, and he lost his mother last year through childbirth. And then his baby brother starved to death. This boy's name is Emmanuel Kalunga. He's eight years old, and he lives in Lusaka in Zambia. Emmanuel has no clothes, no shoes to wear. He can't read, he can't even write his own name, and he goes for days with no food. Worst of all, Emmanuel has no way of getting money to even give him hope of a future. So how many of you tonight have a parent who's 40 or over? Any of you over 40 yourselves? <laughs> That's, well, you don't consider your parents to be elderly at 40. The life expectancy here is 78. But to Emmanuel, living to your 70s is just a dream. And he isn't alone in this poverty. Half of the world, that's over three billion people, live on less than one pound 50 a day. Because we have all the money, but we also have the power, we have the ability to make a difference. And yet we, and America, France, Italy, Spain, we're all living in this bubble. A bubble of wealth. A bubble of selfishness. We complain about our own economy. We spend our money making our lives and our country better, and we forget that there are millions of children in this world who have nothing. So we each need to get a pin. And we need to try and burst this bubble that we are living in. Now maybe it could take a while. Because maybe Gordon Brown doesn't have a pin. But these children are not going to save themselves. They can't save themselves. So let's take our life expectancy. 78. Halve it. 39. That's the life expectancy in Swaziland. The lowest in the world. So I wonder, if we live there, how many of our parents, how many of us, would be alive today? Now these people may only live for half as long as you could, but that does not mean that they are worth half of what you are. I think Helen definitely would have been in line for the best supporter here tonight. <laughs> Certainly the ones with the, the squealiest voices up there. <laughs> <laughs>